Welcome to the Performance Monitor for April 2017. My name's Barney Hawkins and I'm an Investment Director at True Potential. This time we're going to do things a little differently. As normal, we will first review the markets and look at some of the key themes. Next, Chris Leyland, our Deputy Chief Investment Officer, will talk about the True Potential portfolios. As a slight change and away from what we would normally do, we're now concentrating on the True Potential portfolios. For advisors looking for more in-depth information around the True Potential Wealth Strategy Fund range, we would suggest tuning into the weekly webinars. Through the webinars, you can interact directly with our fund manager partners and access their expertise and insight. So, on to the markets. While the triggering of Article 50, formally beginning the Brexit process, dominated both UK and European front pages, the financial markets took the occasion in their stride. The FTSE 100 index gained 1.1% over the month, and sterling made ground against a basket of international currencies, gaining 1.4% against the dollar and 0.6% against the euro. In Europe, political risk has receded following the defeat of the far-right party in the Dutch elections, and Marine Le Pen appears to be losing ground in the run-up to the French elections later this month. Angela Merkel is generally regarded as safe in the German elections in September. Business sentiment indicators have generally been positive in Europe. Bank loan growth is accelerating, which is positive, earnings are improving, and economic growth in the EU outstripped that of the US last year. The only concern is around the withdrawal of quantitative easing and what effect that may have on the market. That said, most of our managers are positive and are increasing their weightings. Reflecting this overwhelmingly positive outlook, European equities gained 4.5% over the month, the strength of the pound trimming this to a gain of 4.3% for sterling investors. Turning to the US, and never far from the headlines, President Trump's health care reforms are proving more difficult to implement than to announce. And as he settles into his presidency, there's a growing perception that the promised tax cuts and infrastructure spending may well be watered down by the time they eventually appear. Having got off to an exuberant start under the new president, the US market paused for breath last month. The S&P 500 index remaining steady over the period gaining 0.1% in local currency, but as a result of sterling gaining ground against the dollar, the return for UK-based investors was a fall of 0.9%. In the bond markets, better economic numbers and growing pressure for a modest rise in interest rates meant that they generally struggled to make progress, although UK gilts and corporate bonds did end the month in positive territory, gaining 0.2% and 0.3% respectively.